we are making a honey ginger margarita with the reposado tequila from Gran Centenario and one of the most timeless, beloved and iconic of Mexican dishes, the chiles de nogada. It's quite the combo. We're gonna make our cocktail. The first thing we're gonna do is make the honey ginger syrup. I'm gonna set my fire to medium. I'm gonna add a half a cup of water, a cup of honey, quarter cup of fresh ginger that I peeled and sliced, mix it and you cook it for just a few minutes and then you just strain it before you wanna use it and it looks like this beautiful dark amber color. I'm going to add two ounces of the Gran Centenario Tequila Reposado. It is rich, it's fruity, it's so tasty. One ounce of orange liquor, I'm using agavero. An ounce of that honey ginger syrup. And an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. Then we're gonna add some ice. Silky, it's citrusy, refreshing, and sweet. Now we are going to match this honey ginger margarita with the most iconic of Mexican dishes that connect to Mexico's biggest celebration in Mexico, which is not Cinco de Mayo, but it is Mexican Independence Day. The chile nogada is a stuffed chile. It's a kind of a chile relleno, but it is a chile relleno like no other because it has a very laborious picadillo that has the most ingredients that you can imagine. To begin with, we're going to start with a picadillo. I have my pot here that's at medium heat, and I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of olive oil, half of an onion, we're gonna chop it, the garlic, in Mexico, the chile nogada is like the Mexican thing to eat throughout September. All of the restaurants, all of the fondas, people in their homes. I mean, I remember eagerly waiting for September to eat this because it is not that common for people to make them at home. I'm adding two cups of tomato sauce, or you can also use crushed tomatoes or diced tomatoes. Here I have two pounds of boneless pork butt that I cut into one inch pieces, one white onion, a couple of carrots, a few bay leaves, garlic cloves, a little bit of thyme, and salt. You cook these for 25 to 30 minutes until the meat is cooked. And now I'm gonna take out the meat and we're gonna use both the meat and the broth. This is just the base. Like, we're just getting started. I'm adding two cups of the broth. And now we're gonna start adding all the fruits. This is like Christmas. I'm gonna add one whole plantain, half a cup of candied pineapple. I'm going to peel and dice a ripe pear and a yellow apple. I'm adding one inch piece of canela or true cinnamon about a half a teaspoon of ground cumin and a pinch of ground cloves, a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of ground black pepper, a quarter cup manzanilla olives, a quarter cup pine nuts, golden raisins, and a quarter cup slivered almonds. So this is gonna go inside of the chile poblanos and now we're gonna make the creamy walnut sauce. All it has is two and a half cups of heavy cream, a half a cup of milk, half a cup of confectioner's sugar, two cups of walnuts, a pinch of white pepper, and a pinch of salt. This walnut sauce is creamy. It's almost like a walnut mousse. Now, the poblano chiles, you need to fire roast them, either directly on the heat, on a comal or skillet, or under the broiler until the skin is completely charred and then you're gonna put them in a bag like these so that they will sweat and then the skin can come right off. Cut a slit in the middle, you remove all the seeds and I don't think I've ever said that process fast. So now all you need to do is stuff the poblanos 
the most traditional version of chiles en hogadas has these chiles battered and fried. But this is my favorite way of eating them. So festive! Mmm, an extraordinary dish. You go through the sweet, creamy walnut sauce into the thick, meaty, almost wannabe spicy chile. And then you get into this really rich, delicious picadillo. And then we have the honey ginger margarita. Margarita is a classic, but this honey ginger margarita with the reposado tequila from Grand Centenario will become one of your classics. Just like these chile and nogadas, which are together, timeless, perfect for celebration, one made for the other. <laughs>